Well, so today is Sunday. Sunday is usually the day that O'Brien and I film. Sometimes Saturdays, mostly Sundays. I'm pretty exhausted from the weekend. I mean, Thursday, let's hear, let's count it down. So Thursday, we had the San Diego Poway meet, which was a bust. We didn't record anything, but we were out and about just doing stuff. Friday was race legal. You guys saw that video already. And Sunday or Saturday was the ST meet um, in Los Angeles. So that video is coming. But what I wanted to do is a sort of a midweek video. It's something that O'Brien and I had talked about doing like midweek vlogs. And so there is one thing that happened on Friday that I thought would be worth talking about. And, um, and, and, it, and it's sort of in my head, it became a bigger discussion about the, uh, I don't know, car community in general. And so here's what happened. So I raced the dude in the silver uh, Hyundai Genesis, and O'Brien raced him a handful of times as well. So I raced him on the sixth once, I raced him twice on Friday, and so the guy like made it a point to stop and come talk to me. And he goes, hey, were you here the last event? And I said, yeah, I was. He goes, uh, I, think, uh, I think I raced you. Oh, and he actually, he talked to me uh, when, when I was going through tech. He's like, hey, is that an ST? I said, yeah. And I didn't really get a chance to talk to him. So anyways, uh, after our f- first or second race, um, we kind of pulled over and we were talking and he told me that um, his Instagram account, he recorded our race and he posted it up on his Instagram account and it, and it got like 800 or 700 something views. I'm like, no kidding, that's awesome. So then we got talking a little bit more and um, I watched the video and it was strange because like when people usually post videos of themselves racing, they usually only post their victories. But, and when they do, uh, when they post their losses, they're usually kind of like, ah, you know, mischief or, you know, something, I don't know. But he was like totally energetic and complimentary and it was refreshing. This guy just freaking loves cars and he's so enthusiastic and it was a real breath of fresh air because by comparison, when I ran them and I lost, I was like, ah, damn it. You know, I was kind of mad. And when he loses, he's like praising the other driver, praising the other car. And it was awesome. And I just kind of wish that the car communities, at least specifically in the San Diego area, um, would be more like that. That guy is just so inclusive. And I think Ultimately, I think that's where Boosted Aspiration is going to go. We're, we will eventually branch off from STs to other cars. And uh, probably because of our name, more specifically, you know, like turbocharged cars. Um, but we, we have kind of a mission statement to not, you know, really bag on other people's cars or, you know, other tuners because they come in all shapes and sizes. And, and I think that's where the car culture has lost itself to a certain extent is that they decide that you know this car is worth modifying this other car is not I mean I get it too rivalries are always great so like the Ford Chevy rivalry I'm all about that but you'll never you'll you'll probably never see me bag on I gotta get going you'll probably never see me bag on someone just because they have I don't know like a cobalt you know Cobalt SS, cool car, pretty damn quick. I've actually never run one, or a Dodge Dart. Do I think the Dodge Dart is like a fantastic looking car, the new new one? No, I really don't. I think it's kind of an ugly car, but I'm not gonna bag on the tuner for their efforts. I think that's the point. So in the comment section below, let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. You know, they're gonna be short and sweet kind of videos. Um, talking about some sort of a subject. And so in closing, I want to say, O'Brien, do you have anything to add uh, to this discussion about sort of the car community and being inclusive? Let me know in the comment section below and hopefully we'll see O'Brien's response.